Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can add reference dimension in the drafting workbench of KTR5. To start off I'm going to open up a 3D file, a cat part and a drafting workbench. And I'm going to insert uh, one view in it so that I can, I can explain how it is being done. So we have uh, one of our view here. And now, in the drafting workbench of KTRV5, you can use the dimension tools to create the reference dimension. To do so, invoke the options dialog box by choosing the tools options from the menu bar. So we have uh, we need to work something over here, and we need to uh, we need to actually toggle this particular option over here. So before doing that, let me just show you by default how the dimensioning works. So if I go to dimensioning dimensions, and I'm trying to dimension something, I click on this, and a particular dimension appears. And if I click on the second element the dimension appears with respect to these two lines here so basically uh, the dimensions are not coming with reference to this cursor which I have here so to get that particular option you need to go to the tools options and here on the dimensions tab on the options go to the mechanical design open the mechanical design go to drafting and over here be on the dimensions tab so you have many tabs may, maybe in your uh, computer it's uh, it won't be the same so take the dimensions tab and over here you have an option called less dimension following the cursor so once you check on this you have the uh, option and once you click on ok and now if you try giving the dimensions what happens is once you click, your dimension is going to come along with your cursor here. So it's 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 a very uh, it's it's very easy and comfortable to work with uh, this particular option, and you can do your dimension in place in anywhere you want, according to your ease. So if uh, if in case if you want uh, the dimension to be placed with a uh, with respect to a particular distance, and then you need to go for the other method that is uh, disable this and just give the geometry distance here say 7mm if you give then whatever dimension you're gonna create is going to lie 7mm distance from this line so that's all about uh, uh, inserting reference dimensions I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope uh, this tip is going to help you throughout your uh, drafting projects thank you so much for watching